And a very good evening to all my viewers out there. This is some breaking news, uh, quite major breaking news actually. Right now it is Tuesday, August the 22nd, 2017. It's approximately 5.20 p.m. And what you're looking at right now is the damage caused by a severe thunderstorm that just passed through the Montreal region a couple hours ago. Uh, I'm sure this is going to be all over the news and whatnot, but just to update my viewers what happened, uh, it was earlier today, I'd say around between 1 and 3, that a major thunderstorm came from uh, around the Ottawa area, that's where it started, and worked its way west towards southern Quebec and eventually passed through Montreal. Now, this is an NDG, uh, this is just west of the downtown core, that's the Decarry Expressway there. And this area has been completely inundated by severe damage. I'm going to walk around here and show my viewers what's happening. That park down there is NDG Park. That's where a lot of the damage happened. But this is, let's take a look here on street level. This is on Sherbrooke. Right now we're on the corner of Sherbrooke and Girward. And I'm going to try tonight to walk around here and show you all what has happened here. Now look, I'm going to tell you son, I've been covering extreme weather for a while. We had the floods earlier this year. So, I mean, this is just the, the latest natural uh, weather phenomenon, weather disaster to strike the city. So let's walk around here. I'm going to try my best to keep everything in one video as much as possible. Uh, if I can, I'll try to get it all in one video. If I can't, I'm going to divide it up. But uh, I'm going to definitely give you as much coverage as possible of this situation. And, of course, this is NDG. Notre Dame de Grasse. Look at this traffic light here, completely falling down here from, uh, you know, up above. This goes to show you. So I'm going to walk around here. Let's take a look down here. Um, you know, we talked about earlier in the year when there was that flooding going on in the West Island, how much damage there was because of the water. Well, this time it was wind. I'm going to work my way down here uh, to the park in a minute, but first I want to show you some smaller examples of damage that have occurred here. This is a, a tree that was uprooted. This is a tree that was actually uprooted completely. Now here's the thing that's important to understand here. There are reports that this could have been a minor tornado. Now it's very early on in this situation so a lot of you know scientific data has to be analyzed and whatnot but there's a really good possibility that this could have been some kind of tornado some kind of, uh, you know, microcell. It was a line of thunderstorms that moved through, so I don't really know if there was any tornadoes associated with that. I know there was a tornado watch issued for Ottawa right before this storm passed through. So I'm gonna pause the video, and I'm gonna resume recording in the park down there. That's NDG Park, kind of ground zero of this whole situation. But uh, I'm, I gotta feel I'm gonna be here for at least a couple hours. Just finished work here. And uh, we're going to walk around here, survey the damage. Again, this is Sherbrooke Street, the corner of Girward and NDG. I'm going to try to get to that park before, uh, before they close it off. Again, this is on the street here. This is the street that you're looking at here. Branches falling. This is a tree that obviously fell over. So we're working our way west here. And you know, they say it's, uh, I heard people in the street saying this is like a war zone. Well, huh, goes to show you. So I'm gonna pause the video and try to get into that park. All right, so we've uh, worked our way across the street here, and you're going to see the uh, the damage here from street level. Don't got to even go into the park to see it. Very uh, phenomenal. With, uh, news cameras there set up. Global news. We're going to work our way down here. 
you can actually smell the trees or uh, you know when the trees get cut they have that smell in them. Let's go inside here with, with caution. Yeah, you know, I, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something right now. I I would not be surprised if this was some kind of a, a tornado or something that came through here. Simply incredible. Some fellow news uh, crews there, CBC, class oh, RDI, news van. Now, you know, whenever there's a thunderstorm, there's always, uh, you know, trees that fall down. But not to this extent. Now, if it was a tornado, it was probably a minor one. But nonetheless, the damage is, uh, you know, speaks for itself. Very fascinating and surreal to walk through this. And again, earlier this year, we were just covering the floods in uh, the West Island. And now this. And again, it all goes back to that main discussion, you know, climate change, global warming. What kind of an effect is it having on the weather? Thunderstorms happen, floods happen, but not to the degree that we've seen them this year. Now here's the situation too that I'm worried about, you know, these trees are very unstable. I wonder, uh, you know, if it's really safe to walk through here. But hey, you guys are my viewers. And, uh, you know, this is what, this is what I like to do. Let's take a walk down here on the other side of the park. You can see here, major uh, branch fell off of this tree. You know, I, I'm just thinking, what would it have been like to be inside of this park when this storm struck? Quite phenomenal. Walk around some more. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually be walking through some residential streets shortly to uh, survey the damage yeah. there. I try to stabilize myself here. I know it's a bit shaky. I'll try to stand still here to show you the damage here, a uh, panoramic view of everything. There's a Detroit diesel fire engine down there. What is that, 299 I think it is? Quite, uh, quite the, the images here that I'm bringing y'all. Now again, I was at work when this storm hit. And that's why when thunderstorms hit, I always like to try to be outside because you never know when these things are going to happen. Well, there's uh, well, what I'm going to do now. I'm actually going to pause the video and uh, watch. I'm going to cut the video because I'm going to actually film a smaller video, put it up on YouTube, just so my viewers out there know what's happening. So. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a second video, rest assured, I'm probably going to have quite a few videos tonight. Thank God I uh, charged a couple of batteries, so uh, I'm quickly, I'm going to cut this video and I'm going to resume recording very shortly. So there is a second video that will be posted and I will make sure that I post the link directly onto this one. So uh, all you have to do is just click the link on the bottom of the uh, description, actually it will be on the top of the description. So just click that and uh, the second video will will pop up, so uh, more videos to come.